Well, we've just done all the power checks. Everything is okay. Um, this is Duncan and I. This is our first, well, my first flight since the ground loop. So <laughs> he's been brave enough to say he's going to fly with this one. What I am going to do is, in a moment, as I taxi to the top of the field, uh, I am going to just try and see what happens when I pull the brake on. There was lots of speculation as to what that might have been, but a bit of a left turn there. It is pulling it to the left, isn't it? Oh. Bearing in mind the speed we came up, if you were pulling that quite hard. Yeah. Have to look at some adjustment then. Yep. Yeah. This is um, this is not my last flight. Well, hopefully it won't be my last flight. Um, but a follow-up to last week's video, where I said that I'm going to give a a bit of a break in the YouTube. It's not the fact that I'm going to stop flying. It's just that actually producing the videos does take a tremendous amount of time. I don't know that if people really acknowledge that fact. Um, those people who do their own videos do know that it takes a considerable amount of time and I can probably spend three or four nights on it. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk more about that in a minute when we're in the air. It is important, it's a Sunday, it is important to make sure we are in the air by two o'clock. But it's, it's only ten past one. We should be fine. Clear on the approach. Mailing traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling, mailing traffic. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Notice there are no trees there now. Now what I was... What I was going to do on this one... Um, Basically, I wanted to say a, a big thank you to all of my viewers that commented. Well, all of my viewers, but especially those that left those lovely comments. But I also was going to try going slightly higher because people said that they quite liked the underwing camera when I tipped it up and filmed straight down. Uh, but I didn't realise that was fairly low level. So what I thought I would do is I'd do the same exercise but instead of flying it at 1,500, I'd probably fly it at about 3,000 just to see. It's <laughs> it's going to be a bumpy one. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. Yet, yet again. But I have to say, it's the first time that I haven't turned around and answered everybody's comments. Um, the comments have been absolutely tremendously humbling. Um, you always look at viewing numbers, but you don't necessarily always think about people that might be watching. I know a lot of you have commented on a weekly basis, and it's going to seem quite strange for a while not having that on a Friday morning. Um, but the other thing I do want to point out is the fact that I'm not stopping doing the videos um, what I am stopping is I'm doing, I'm stopping the weekly videos. That always became a challenge. I never thought that I'd get as far as I, I did. But with everything that's happening, moving out of two houses, moving into a third, selling off shares, 
dealing with estate agents and dealing with solicitors, uh, it just is taking up a tremendous amount of time. So I needed to call a halt, which I have done, um, and I will be back. Whether or not I come back to doing a weekly video or whether I set up a different routine, um, but it was very, very humbling, as I say, to read all of those comments. And I thank you very, very much for all the support you've given me over the years. And so many people said that they've either come back to flying because of what I was doing, or they started flying because of what I was doing, or those people that have said that they started doing YouTube because of what I was doing. Um, but whatever it is, as I say, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to just climb for a little bit more to see what happens with those shots. For a little while, parked outside or moored outside Felixstowe, you had one of the world's largest container boats. Right. So I think that little exercise we did on the ground did prove that we haven't got balanced brakes, have we? No, definitely not. How does the mechanism work? Are they independently adjustable? Yes. Yeah, you can right. you can adjust that. But on the other hand, you want to have the the brakes that exist on the full extreme because, as you say, with yours, you've got independent braking on the outside. Yeah, of, got of the pedal movement. Got it at the extent of the pedal movement, but yeah. as far as the handbrake's concerned, there's, uh, they, they, the, boat put, the, the handbrake pulls on the central rod and the two cables are on the outside, so it balances itself. Right. I was just wondering if this worked the same way or whether they're completely independently adjustable. Yeah, we'll have to have a, a little examination of that one. The tide's looking very out. Yeah. We have had some pretty high tides recently, but the tr trouble is with the high tides, you get the low tides, don't you? Yeah. Everywhere is still very, very brown. Yeah, it's quite sh shocking to see, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Used to seeing everything green. I mean, the nice thing is that, you know, I do have viewers from America, Australia, New Zealand, and they all talk about the fact that how nice it is to see the green fields of England. <laughs> Not at the moment. Not at the moment, no. Joe is telling me there's a Mustang in here. Yeah. Is she, is she making that? Is she winding me up or do you know something? I don't know. I've, I've, I have heard that there is, yeah. Now she says at low tide you can just about see a tip of the wing. Right. Oh, blimey, there's a reservoir on my side, which is empty. Absolutely, totally empty. Blimey. There's some bruises on my head after this. Yeah. Yeah, to match the other bruise you've got. Yeah. But you came from walking into wingtips, isn't it? Yeah. I think there's another strike going on here, isn't there, or is about to be. Right. They don't look super busy, do they? No. Yeah, it's quite sort of misty murky out to sea, isn't it? Yeah, out that way, definitely. You've got quite a few boats, cargo boats, moored out in there. You had a lot after the lockdown, there was yeah. loads there, weren't there? Yeah. See the board there. Sun is burning my arm. Yeah. <laughs> it is hot in there. Yeah. There doesn't appear to be a whole lot of movement going on. Uh, I mean, it is a Sunday, but. Different colours of water down there. I don't think that's sewerage. 
Yes. <laughs> a lovely thought. I know it's back up there in the inlet, it's quite clear, wouldn't it? You can yeah. really see. It's actually come out well on the camera. Now you've got out here, you can see streaks of, well, looks like dirt, doesn't yeah. it? The, the water's not quite high enough to make this hampered water. I've got some shots of it in a, with a high tide, and it's just like a tree with a with a big trunk of the tree there, with branches getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. As I said in that last video, I still think it's such a privilege to be able to do this. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I often think that when I'm flying around. Yeah. And it doesn't matter that you're not going anywhere or not doing anything or whatever, it's just the fact that you can enjoy being up in the air. I like the fact that nobody can get hold of you up here, you yeah. can just come up. Yeah. Don't bring the radio, I mean I, I know you always do with yours because it's built in, but mine isn't, so I just leave the radio behind. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got Great Oakley just forward of the wingtip there. Right. You can't even see it green. Forward a bit. It's there. I can't see it again now. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, the runways aren't even that distinct, are they, at the uh, moment? I just wanted to track it right up to Beaumont Key here. Yeah. And this is where you're moving around. Uh, moving to over there. How, so far this, from, how far from Nayland is that? Well, it's half an hour. No, it's not. It's, it's, the, not, it's, it's not. the same. It's the same as from where I live at the moment. It amazed the amount of aircraft that use this bit to do exercises over. Yeah. yeah I've, I've done exercises here myself. Yeah. Uh, You see that bend there? Yep. On the left hand side of the bend, there's a whitish building or creamy building. Okay. That is where we are moving to. Oh, I can see the end wall with the cream colour, is that yeah. your new place? go down just a little bit lower but I know the other day there was a jet province doing stuff oh, and it was high level but they people were still complaining about it oh really hello seagulls same, oh, yeah. same oh. height yeah did you see the pictures of that red arrow I don't think so all right oh the one that come from the screen yeah, yeah I did see that yeah. yeah that must be quite a shock yeah So can you see the black and white horse in the field? Oh, I can see the horses here. Yeah, go to the left of that. There's a black and white one in the field all by itself. That's Karen's horse. Right, OK, I can't actually. Yeah. I don't, oh yeah, just over. Yeah, it's right now move, house, moving from left to right. Moving to the edge, yeah. Yeah. 
Mine's a toe. Yeah, my toes are clear. Let her go, she'll be alright. for the first time. Oh, yep. But what do they say? Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. <laughs> Although we don't have a much of a, a choice, really, at Nayland, because we've got to be in the air by 2 o'clock. That's it, yeah. We're a bit restricted on some days. Yeah. How do you think you're doing with your spot on now? So we've got a reservoir over there, Tim. Yeah, but the arm of the reservoir points. It does. And it's pointing in the right direction. Yeah. I think you're pretty much spot on there, Tim. Are you feeling okay about it? Yeah. It will seem a little bit strange without those three trees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's your head? <laughs> Missed it that time. <laughs> that was your side of the aeroplane. Yeah, that was a deflecting blow. Yeah. I think I'm going to be... I'm going to say this to the camera, OK? I have a feeling that the landing is going to be a fairly busy one. We had quite a nice headwind component to take off with, which means we're going to have quite a strong tailwind component to land with and we're not sure because of what happened last time um, so really what it, this leaves me to say is well if you like the video smash that like button for me please leave me a comment they're always really nice to read and as I say thank you very much for those people who left such lovely comments last week um, this will be the last weekly video um, and yeah, but bearing in mind, it's not going to be the end of YouTube for me, but the publishing routine might change, but I do need a few weeks where I'm packing up boxes, moving things around, decorating new houses and the like. So as I say, thank you very much for your support over all the years, and I'll stay on this heading just to show the airfield is right underneath. But I will only do that for a while because as I've said before, what we do is we pass to the east of the airfield over the top of it to cross the runway at right angles.
I was going to publish the uh, circuit diagram in that last time when I mentioned it, but I, I didn't do it. So that's a cue to me for me to do it now. There's now one solitary tree. Try not to hit it, Tim. Sorry? Try not to hit it. Yeah. So, now this I think is going to be interesting. We're coming in now. We're going to come in with the tailwind like we did last time. Are you going to use the brake? Yeah. But this is actually putting us into wind and it's sort of dead cross. Mail and traffic, Gold Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead mail and traffic. Uh, fuel pump can come on. Your harness okay, your hatch okay. The brake is off. As I say, fuel pump is on, I'm on the front tank. I've been on the front tank the whole time. I know it's only reading a quarter and still reading a quarter, but it was 50 litres when I dipped it. Cool. I don't know whether I'm going to get it on that camera. I don't know whether I can turn it back in time. But one of these reservoirs is virtually empty. Oh, yeah, look at that. OK. Air brake coming down. Yeah, a little bit of a, Felt that. a dramatic change. I'll let it run on a little bit because of the height. Come on, round your gun, babe. Quite bumpy. Yeah. yeah. Still high. Yeah, still high. a little bit. Yeah, with that, that brake. That is much better. And what I've done... Are we going left over, over yeah. the wheel? I did it on purpose just oh, to see. Right. When you kept the brake on, I mean to start off with, it's it slowed it down, but the more pressure I put on, the more it pulled it round. Right. You need to look at how that adjusts. Yeah. But it was interesting what somebody said about the fact that the ground is harder, harder than we've ever known it. And yeah. the grass, when it's like this, is actually quite slippery. Yeah. Oh, I read that. Quite an exciting landing. That was quite an exciting Not, not, not as exciting, exciting as the last one. Yeah. What I will probably do, uh, and I'm telling viewers this as well, but what I will probably do, because it started off, the channel started off with me. Can you just cover the brake for me, please? Um, it started off with me simply filming for my own review. I will probably still fly and film with that back camera. Right. Just you know, just so that you've got a record. Because something like that that you might want to look back at and check. Um, but it feels as if I'm melting now. Yeah, you? it's getting hot. <laughs> yeah. Shut it off and get the doors open. Yeah. So as I say, thank you very much for your support. Um, it's not the end of YouTube, but it's the end of Friday morning. Um, continuous run. Thank you very much for the support, and as they say in the cartoon, that's all, folks. Mm -hmm.